And so away we go. And Fifield's getting things started, looking to test Anderson in the air. Heslop plants it inside Jennings now, wrestling away. Moke. Mark Hines impressed into action at right back due to the unavailability of Javan Vidal. That's lively work by Lee Fowler back in the sides for his first home start of the season. Jennings. Half hearted shout for handball from the Wrexham supporters, but none of the players as Minchel spreads nicely. That's sloppy touch by Lasani, the on loan debutant from Crystal Palace. So Blaine Hudson, two goals last Saturday, is up there. It's a shot from Newton instead, though, and it's not a bad effort either. Newton looks frustrated. He couldn't quite bend it inside that near post, but Newton's threat from set pieces has already been valuable for Wrexham. Didn't, wasn't too far off then. For Heslop in support, and Carrington. Specs at the far post, good early delivery. Moke. Newton now, as Fowler stretches play, Newton have another dip here, good power! Oh, what a strike! Was Beck offside? Yes, he was! Unlucky, lovely strike by Newton, and Beck did well to guide it on target, but his head in his hands. Beck was just ahead of play, but terrific effort. Newton's strike certainly would have counted, that's twice in the first four minutes that Newton's gone close. New shape looking good for Rex, who certainly have started on the front foot. Beck had a nice touch, good take by Fowler too. And Beck might get there. Again, promising build at play from Wrexham, though. And Bromley have been camped in their own half. Fusaini now. As the switch on, looking for Alessani, plays it poorly, well read by Carrington now. Beck's beginning to run through the middle and say he looks for Jackson. It's well read by Francis. Alessani's a chance now to run with Carrington out of position. Heslop on the cover, hasn't got the pace to stop him. Alessani on his right foot. Can he pull a trigger? Oh, Cookins is the well to get back there. That shot wasn't too far off by Wall. He scuffed the goal in on the first day of the season, nudging it beyond Cameron Belford, and he nearly repeats the trick there. Gordon. That's a great tackle by Neeson. Now, what can Jennings start here? Jackson has got Newton bombing outside him. Only one man in the box to look at. Jackson's done well. Fowler wants it. There's long range shot. Not a bad effort. Took a nasty skip off the turf that. And this is a very bright start by Lee Fowler. Great header by Hudson again. Jennings now. Good feet. Looking for Jackson. Anderson intercepts, but gives a street to Heslop. Jackson wanted it in behind, I think. He's done well to adjust and find Heslop again. Fowler screaming for it. Onto his right foot, tries it. Unlucky, he won't come down again. But Wrexham, again, breaking well. A midfield diamond looking good. There's good fluidity of movement between the players in the middle. But despite really dominating the opening 29 minutes, Wrexham haven't carved out enough clear cut chances. Beck wrestling away. Heslop has to be quick to get at that. Moke. Jennings. Neaton's play between those two again. Fowler now. Switches on. Carrington. Jennings looking to get across and not give him an option. That's a nice idea. It was Fowler. Free header. Oh, Lee Fowler. The man for the occasion. His first start at the race course this season. And Carrington with a lovely delivery. Fowler. Running into space gives Rexham a deserved lead. The trademark leap on the back from Fifield. And there's a story for you. Hudson impetuous there, and now here's the wall, another little ball to him, has he got the pace to get away from his men? The defenders converge around him, Alessani, he won't come back down in time, but ambitious efforts. Bromley just showing that they're certainly going to fight back. Bromley absolutely penned in, and Moke under hits that, Fusini gets away from him, just about clears, Hudson. Looking for Jennings, he's turned Rogers. there's a bit of a trip there, but well, it's penalty. Well, Jennings may have had hold of Rogers' arm in the first place. Ref didn't give that 
Rogers was clumsy really more than anything else. Just clipped Jack Jennings as he turned him. Ironic, all that patient build-up play. And it's the long ball under pressure from Hudson that works. So Jennings, of course, took Wrexham's last penalty a fortnight ago and hit the bar. Will he have more success this time? He will. Went for the same spot and got it right. And Connor Jennings puts Wrexham 2 girl up. And I think it's fair reward for this dominant performance as well. A reshuffled midfield by Gary Mills. Two goals from midfield for Gary Mills. And Wrexham are in the driving seat. Fasini. It's a good turn by Gordon. Can he lose a shot off? That's not a bad effort. Couldn't keep on top of it, though. 20 seconds left. They added four minutes. Wrexham need to keep their focus here. It's partly away. Hudson does well to attack that. Fasini. Now can Wrexham break? Jackson's got two players in support if he can bring it down. Fasini battling away. He's done well. Now then. Can he deliver? Emmanuel's running in behind. It's a nice idea. And Taylor did well to narrow the angle and used it well to get the block in. So we've gone over the four added minutes as Alessani swings it into the far post and makes some deal with that. Fowler launches it away and it's the last action of a half which has been totally dominated by Wrexham. An impressive performance with a new shape in midfield and Lee Fowler snatching the headlines. 2-0 to Wrexham at half time. And so we're off for Bromley desperately needing to find something different that they can do to make an impression on Wrexham. Immediately Fifield's called into action, twice. But they have a new striker up front now, Ben May coming on for the injured Alex Wall. The quality of service of those forwards has been an issue for Bromley. It looks like they might have changed their shape slightly, but it's Heslop with the first chance to attack. Jackson's down the flank, Alessani's all over Heslop, who creates a loose ball, which Fowler will latch onto. Beck, Newton, space at the far post for Jackson, but that's too close to the keeper. Manuel pokes it on. It's a good challenge. Combination of Fifield and Moke. Now Fowler can spring something here. Jackson's calling for it in behind. That's good work by Fowler. Good strike to Fowler playing of real confidence out there. He wants to show his worth to the team. Heslop. Carrington. It's a good ball, and Beck had good vision there, Jackson. It's good strength to hold her up. Jennings skips past his man nicely, can he finish? Good strike, great save by Julian. Lovely, neat passing football by Wrexham, and Jennings got good contact on it. And lucky for him that Julian was up to it. It's pressing hard, but it's a good switch. And there's danger here, Bromley of men over. Crowd shout for handball, players don't join in. Jennings scrapping away with Gordon. A chance for Minshall. Oh, and didn't really get hold of that. Brave defending by Hudson. Fowler's got nice movement on the edge of the area. Cute touch by Heslop. Great return ball by Back. Just overhead. Lovely build up play by Wrexham, though. Good awareness in the edge of the area. Didn't quite drop for him. But Wrexham continues to push on. Jackson's made a run. Jennings looks for Beck, backing in well, can he get the shot off? Oh, unlucky. He's still looking for his first goal for Wrexham. He's had one disallowed already, he's worked very hard up front back. So Carrington to deliver. Looking towards Beck. Can't quite reach it, Jackson chasing a lost cause and really well. Jennings wants it inside, Heslop finds him. Oh, it's a lovely pass, Jackson now. Good save by Julian, Jackson was more. Wrexham screaming for handball, not getting it. Bromley Road there, luck to survive that. Newson looking for Jackson, who backs into Holland and inconveniences him, and Wrexham therefore win it in midfield. Oh, I'm okay. Couldn't sort his legs out there. And he can't stop Coombs either. Mr. Moke hurt himself. Heslop can't stop Coombs either. It's a decent effort by him. It's skipped off the turf. Good save by Taylor. First one he's had to make, really, but Coombs did well. The sub's done well since he's come on. So Heslop now is in the, the Moke role.
breaking up at the, the base of the, the midfield. It's Jackson's fighting away. Jennings does well. Robbie Evans, ambitious efforts on target though. Evans looking to make an impression since he's come on. There's energy, he should suit this sort of shape in midfield. Jennings makes it run and creates space for Heslot to break into. Oh, and he's given it away. He had some good options there as well. And now Coombs, three on two break. Finds May. Emmanuel's at the far post. He has Coombs at the near. And that's a crucial save by Taylor. Heslop's error so nearly cost Wrexham. And even though they've been dominant in this game, just shows the next goal still is crucial. Jennings. Can't keep hold of it. Heslop presses. May now. Goldberg runs off him, so does Coombs. Goldberg now, as Coombs going ahead of him. Running at Carrington. Decent effort, good parry by Taylor. Newton, first two is, and Bromley just starting to pose a little bit of a threat in the closing stages. Jennings, Heslop's running off. And it's good closing down by Fasini, but good composure by Jennings. Fowler, Jokes made a tempting little run inside. Newton. Fowler. It's a little bit static in the box for him. And York will pick up on this. Oh, important foot in by Julian. Evans is after it. Is that a corner? No. A promising first intervention by York. And Julian again called into action. So Rexon to make their final substitution. That'll be James Gray coming on and Lee Fowler given a chance to have a rest and get the applause from the, the fans who appreciate his efforts. First start at the race course this season, and he's impressed. And this isn't that reception. Heslop's done well there. York's down the flank. Jennings and Gray in the middle. York taking on Holland. Neatly done. Jackson now. Tries to curl it. Won't come back in time. And lucky Jackson deserves a goal for his endeavour today. He's really worked hard. Hudson wins what may well be one last header of the day. He's done well at the back. And that is the end of that. Wrexham back to winning ways. They needed the victory against out of form Bromley. And they got it. The new shape in midfield worked well. Lee Fowler's return to the team made the difference. He got a goal. Jennings got a penalty. And Wrexham will be delighted to get a win that just keeps their hopes of getting into the playoffs alive. The final score, Wrexham 2, Bromley 0.